going to show you guys how to get to the wastegate actuator and adjust it. So sometimes you may need to uh, adjust the wastegate tension or preload um, on your car. That's what we're going to do. So this is a 2002 Volvo. Of course, if you've been watching the other videos, it's the same car we've been working on. This is an XC70. It'll work for any of the Volvo cars. The tools you're going to need are some needle nose pliers, sockets in a 18, 15, and 14 millimeter. Um, a wrench in 10 millimeter, and then a ratcheting wrench in 12 is going to be uh, make this a lot easier. You can get away with a eh, non ratcheting wrench, it's just going to take a lot longer. The first thing we need to do is remove this cross brace. We've got two bolts here, two bolts there, and then this cross bolt here, and this section will come out. Once you remove the four 14 millimeter bolts, you can take two ratchets or two wrenches and uh, crack this one loose here. Once you have that cross brace out of the way, you'll be able to see the heat shields a lot better. So the turbo is underneath here. You can see the wastegate actuator right there. And um, the rod is right there. You don't need to take this charge pipe off, um, but you can. There are four 12 millimeter uh, bolts in here. One right there, one a little bit lower with a spring on it. Another one here, shorter with a spring. And then one that you won't be able to see, I don't think, back here behind the turbo heat shield. So you'll have to just uh, kind of do this one by feel. So go ahead and remove those four bolts and uh, the 12 millimeter ratcheting wrench makes that a lot easier. Removing all four bolts does make this easier. If you just want to take off this lower heat shield, you can just remove the back bolt, the bolt here, and the lower bolt with a spring on it on this side. Then we're going to turn the cover we need to push it this way. There's a connector right here or a wire. You're gonna to need to push uh, forward and down so you can get this to slide out. It's gonna slide down just like that. Now, if you want to remove it, you can, um, or you can just leave it there. If you're gonna be doing like testing and tuning and doing multiple runs, it's a good idea to go ahead and take it out. Now, you can see where the rod connects um, to a little flapper inside. So what you have here is this rod, which is threaded, a jam nut, and then you have the end piece here. So what you're gonna need to do is use your needle nose pliers to remove this pin. I think I can do it with just my fingers. I've had it off before, so none of this stuff is uh, seized up. And um, before removing it off the, off the uh, retainer there, Take a 10 millimeter and go ahead and loosen this jam nut. To loosen it by tightening it. You want to turn the nut like it's going to go that way and tighten in. So just turn it a little bit. Sometimes you'll need to put some penetrating fluid on that to break it loose. Then we can bring the rod up and it was facing in this direction. Then you're going to want to count your turns. I'm going to turn mine in two full turns. So there's one, there's two. That is it. Then you can set your rod back on the little keeper there. Put your pin back in place. And uh, then just tighten down your little jam nut. And that is it. So that is all there is to adjusting the wastegate. It is pretty easy. There are multiple different reasons why you might need to do this. Um, you know, if you have a wastegate spring that's getting a little bit loose or you're trying to diagnose something, in this case I'm uh, doing some tuning on this car. So I hope that helps you guys out if you're trying to adjust your wastegate. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.